All right, welcome back to the Alliance Tournament. I am Kill2, with me is Shadu, and we have Against All Authorities versus Dark Side. On the left for Against All Authorities, we have three Slipners, two Cyclones, a Scimitar, two Sabres, and a Dramiel. And on the right for Dark Side, a Tengu, single Tengu, uh, three Slipners, Scimitar, Hugin, three Sabres, and one Thrasher. So what looks like here is a two rush teams, with the difference being on Dark Side side, they have a command module Tengu for uh, shield bonuses. And the match is underway, and we see uh, lots of people heading right towards each other, of course, uh, with the Against All Authority Scimitar being the only one that was out of range of uh, um, uh, the rest of the team, and uh, looked like Dark Side actually warped in. The way they warped in, they were closer to that Scimitar than any other uh, uh, ship from the Against All Authority side. But the Scimitar, of course, has burned out and has uh, has made his escape from the jaws of the evil dark side and uh, both teams are now closing up and once of course they get close to each other it's going to be on Slepnirs on Slepnirs and Cyclones on Slepnirs we'll see what happens here all right guys um I don't know what's going on this match has been absolute shenanigans from start to finish we had people in local saying that something a ship made it to the field that wasn't supposed to that wasn't actually the case apparently they made some kind of mistake now they're shouting in local that they absolutely can't lock anything. Um, of course, now we're seeing damage applied finally uh, from both sides by the looks of it. We lost a Saber, and then we just now lost a Cyclone. So someone's able to get locks. I don't know what they're talking about, but um, certainly an interesting match from a... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, a technical perspective. <laughs> and this, of course, being a very important match for Group D to see who um, who advances as the winner of this match is going to meet either Pandemic Leader or Hydra, um, Hydra Reloaded. Um, so this is an important match, and these kinds of mistakes certainly uh, should not be happening um, from either one of these teams. But as we see, the match is certainly getting underway. Against all authorities, lost one of their Cyclones again, and the Slipnir from the Dark Side team is getting into half shields. Uh, interestingly enough, for some reason, Against all authorities has not put down that Scimitar um, on the Dark Side side. Perhaps the extra Hugin providing webs is um, um, doing all the difference on the Dark Side team. They have a little bit better range control against the all, uh, all authorities team here and that's probably what's coming into play here as the Slebnir is comfortably holding his tank while another against all authorities um, cyclone goes down yeah I mean dark side looking pretty comfortable now uh, I'm still like local is totally flooded I'm trying to figure out what's going on I did have confirmed that there was some kind of technical difficulties but my understanding is that things are, are going to keep rolling so I don't I don't know what the deal is but by the looks of things dark side got the best of it and they are taking control of the match I'm quite sure there will be plenty of posting after this match and as uh, uh, AAA loses first of their Slepnirs this uh, fight is comfortably going on dark side side now yeah, yeah, they're they're doing fine. I have been told that um, there will be an explanation for what happened in this match. I hope both for uh, before and during, because it seems to me like there was issues with both ends there. Um, it for the match itself, Dark Side doing fine. I mean, they they definitely got control. Their logistics still up. Their command still up. Um, so that they're going to take the match, and 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 probably rightfully so. I mean. They were the favorite anyway. I don't think this is a super surprising result, but it, it definitely will be interesting to find out what happened behind the scenes. Certainly. It looks like AAA kept, uh, spent a little bit more time posting in local than <laughs> fighting in uh, on the battlefield, but that's what happens sometimes. A dark side team did, from the outside, look a slightly bit uh, stronger as well. They had that Tengu for command bonuses. They had the Hugin for range control. Against all authorities brought more DPS, but of course that doesn't matter if you're, you can't get in range of that scimitar. Right, and... Um for the most part, the teams were very, I mean, other than those few small differences, they were very similar. There was all damage drones on both sides, a lot of speed on both sides. Like you said, AAA a little bit superior, maybe in the DPS department, that just straight taking tanking gate the dark side. A little more thought and a little more utility. And they'll take the match. So hopefully we get to hear uh, exactly what happened and uh, kind of what's going to be the result. But for now, it looks like dark side wins. Uh, and they'll, of course, move ahead in their group uh, with kind of a commanding... Uh, a comfortable wing three for the dark side team. And with yep. that, we're going to pass you back to the studio.